ladies and gentlemen. I hope you had a good move before. And today I'm going to talk about the, our BIM implementation plans for this Railbotica project. So um, just to maybe start, uh, I'm going to talk about three things. So it's going to be BIM, BIM, and BIM. And uh, just to kick it off, a, a quick question to all of you, maybe. How many of you on everyday life use one of these devices? I would say, yeah, I don't see it here, but, but I would say 90, 95% are using these. And my question is, why not these kind of devices? They were much cheaper, they were very durable, and they lasted with a single charge for a whole week. And you could play Snake on it, it was great. So why not? And the answer is pretty simple. It's an old technology. It's an old technology that we uh, don't use anymore that often. It was great 10 years ago, 15 years ago maybe, but we have moved on since that. So in the construction industry, we are very reluctant to changes. We don't want to accept the new technology for some reason, and we use practices 50 and more years old. And BIM is sort of the, the link between the construction industry and the IT world. I, I, I would see it like that. So about the BIM, these three magic letters. So what it actually is, there are many assumptions, and people think different things what BIM is. The most common one is the 3D models. But it's not about just that. It's all of this and much more. OK, it's not a rocket science. But the rest is pretty much there. There is one assumption that uh, BIM is about something without drawings, which I would like to not agree with. I would say this is drawing management. It's about how you manage your drawings, what kind of drawings, at what, po what point, what time. You need a drawing, you create a drawing. You don't use 3,000 drawings which are useless. So you need, you create what you need. Uh, another uh, thing that most commonly uh, people think that it's additional costs. I would say that no, this is an investment. It's an investment in technology, and it's an investment in people. It's also investment in software. So this is investment that every business that wants to be competitive in the next five, 10 years needs to invest in. Because the BIM is coming. It's, it's with our project or without our project. It will be here anyway. And what is actually BIM? I would invite you to forget about the B, maybe. It's about information management. How you manage this information, how you structureize it, how you categorize it. So this is what BIM is about. About our plans. So for Rail Baltica project, so what we have done so far already, we have created this BIM strategy framework, based on which we uh, procured the uh, detailed BIM strategy. The results are available on our web page. The contract is to be signed very soon. The next stage for this year is to develop this BIM strategy. And one thing that we are striving towards is using open BIM as far as possible. We fully understand that we might not go, we might not be able to go there right away, but our project is eight years at least. And so during that period, the technology will evolve and we have to evolve together with it. So will the BIM. Then uh, what we are doing, we are um, procuring the technology for our needs, for the project needs, so that the, uh, all the participants could, could join in and, and, uh, and work with this technology, all the suppliers. And then we need to implement this technology. So this is basically the time frame for, for, for 2018. And, and with support, which is very important because we need to support this technology throughout the whole project, the technology will evolve, so we have to evolve together with it. So the BIM strategy framework, what it actually has, what it is, it's a base uh, and approach for detailed BIM strategy. Uh, we developed a terms of reference for the developed BIM strategy, and we sent out a message to the market that 
hey, if you want to work with us or together with us, you will, be, uh, you will have to work uh, using BIM. That's the baseline here. So we procured this uh, detailed BIM strategy. Uh, we had two, two applicants, and as I said before, uh, hope, uh, the contract is to be signed very soon. The next stage, what we have to do is to develop this uh, detailed BIM strategy, which includes uh, BIM and CAD manuals, standards, level of information, level of detail, level of development uh, uh, tables, then uh, collaboration processes, classification systems, roles and responsibilities, who will do what at what time, and so on and so on. So all of these things will, will come with the detailed BIM strategy, as well as training materials to train ourselves, to train our uh, support, uh, supply chain, sorry, and uh, support also for this. Then the technology procurement, the common data environment, which I will explain in the next slide, uh, what do I mean by that? And the supporting technology, again, training, very important, and support. And then when we have this technology, we need to implement it, we need to test it, and uh, start working with it. So this is what we have, uh, what, what, we are, what we are planning to do. So the, the common data environment. Those who have worked with BIM might be familiar with this topic or this term. Those who haven't, so it's... In general, you can imagine it as a place where all the federated information, models, data are coming all together. So from the supply chain in a cascade system through subcontractors, contractors, and it all information is stored in one place, available 24-7 for all the, uh, all the uh, supply chain who has the access rights and so on. So this is our plans. And this is how we envision this working together in BIM. Not directly related to our project, but I would like to mention this because we would, in order to work successfully together, we need to have educated and, and um, clever uh, supply chain and all of the involved persons. So if you are not familiar maybe with, with um, BIM so much, then EU BIM Task Group, it's uh, financed by a uh, European Commission, has created this handbook. It's available there in the website. And the good thing about this is that for Estonian and Lithuanian languages, it's coming very soon. And thanks to RB Rail initiative, it's also coming later this year in Latvian language. So all three Baltic languages will be covered, and you can learn about BIM just in general, have an introduction. So that was my part. If you have any further questions, please contact me, contact us. That's not a, I will try to a answer your questions as, as, as much as I can. And remember that you can play your snake also in the new technology. That's not a problem. The question is, do you really want it? And do you really need it? So thank you.